Good evening, Blog Spacers. Vig here from fitsandvig.com. The Major League Baseball season is about 120 plus games into the schedule. And at this point, you probably are who you have been for the past 120 games, right? So we can probably solidify some pretty rock solid opinions as far as foreshadowing uh, success or lack thereof going forward. So I want to hit on a couple of points. Get your feedback in the comments section, which is always welcome. And I want to start off here by saying we know it's all about pitching, right? And the Yankees starting staff is good. Certainly not shut down. And when you get to the postseason, you need shut down starters to win it all. Just ask every World Series champion since the dead ball era, seems like. So... It seems as though we will need some of our guys to kind of pitch over their heads during the postseason in order to get us that ring in 2011 that we uh, that we so badly desire, right? Now the point, the key point there though, is that our friends in Boston, our friends in Philadelphia, they don't have that problem, do they? Second point, the lineup. So our lineup is. Littered with power, but not with batting average and on-base percentage. With one guy in the lineup hitting above 290, don't you know Cano? It's probably going to be a tough road against the elite staffs that are featured during October baseball. Now, we do work the count better than any team in the league. We see the highest uh, number of pitches per at-bat in the league, which feels like a good thing that Feels like a good postseason omen, but at the same time, the 2011 Yankees have the highest percentage of our runs generated by the long ball, and the long ball is tough to come by, much tougher to come by in October uh, than it is in uh, April, May, June, right? Now, if we had nine Brett Gardners, we probably would grind out a title this year through our legs and our, our Baltimore chops. Uh, but unfortunately, we only have one Guardy, and that's a big triple Girardi nod for you. We only have one Guardy, and ultimately, therefore, we really will rely on the long ball as well as however far our pitching can take us. Which brings me to the next point. The pinstriper pen is excellent this year, and unlike Brian Cashman, Vig was a fan of the Rafael Soriano deal this past offseason, and why? Because with the deepest pockets in baseball, the Yankees should have two closers in our pen. The Yankees should have three closers in our pen for the 7th, 8th, and ninth inning. I don't care that the contract is woefully one-sided in Soriano's benefit. We're not the Pirates. We can afford the deal, and it would not have been a hindrance to making a trade deadline deal this past July from a financial perspective. Which would bring me to my next point as far as that lack of trade deadline deal. And that next point is that Brian Cashman has become a monster. He's become a total nightmare. We've created the monster. He's made his millions after starting with the club as a lowly intern 20 years ago. And 2011 Cash is now more publicly talkative than ever. He's very confident about his non-Yankee career options. And from Fitz and Vig's perspective, he's strangely satisfied with this year's current starting staff, the Yankees' current uh, uh, five pitchers in the starting lineup, right? So especially after foreshadowing this offseason that the Yankees, although on paper being weaker than the Red Sox going into the 2011 campaign, that we were an unfinished product, insinuating that we would make a trade deadline deal, which never came. Now, last point, we can't beat the Bean Tanners, can we? What are we, 2-10 and 10 versus Boston this season? Yikes. Can anyone step up in a big game? Anyone? All right, point is, if we do sneak by the Detroit Verlanders in, in round one, the Detroit Cabreras in round one, it will be a difficult task to then get past Boston, won't it? You get the point. Of course, we can beat the Red Sox when it matters most in the postseason. 
but you'd have to, at this point today, you'd really have to put us at about a 2-1 to one underdog at least at this point, right, to sneak by Boston in the postseason. So that's really it. I want to touch, about, touch on the, uh, the pitching staff, including the bullpen. I want to touch on the lineup and that propensity for the long ball. Hit on the Brian Cashman situation and then talk about our performance versus those bean towners up there in the, the northeast corridor, right? So until next time, blog, blog spacers, this is Vig signing off. And, hey, keep an eye on fitsandvig.com. We'll deliver a mix of video and written posts throughout the year. Lots of focus on the Yanks. A little bit of focus not on the Yanks. And ultimately, your comments are always welcome. Enjoy.